What were you thinking gallivanting off into the desert alone at your age? What if you take the bucket, hmm? You told not a soul what you were up to, designated nobody to handle your affairs, and left everyone scrambling frantically to try and figure out how on earth to clean up the colossal mess you'd made! Oh, please, will you stop your yelling? What other choice did I have? What do you mean, what other choice? Do you mean to tell me that after all your years of learning, and sagehood no less, the only idea you could conjure up in that white-haired walnut of yours was to shoot off into the unknown like some hot-headed 20-year-old adventurer? A one-man suicide mission, hmm? That's the best idea that one of the finest minds of a generation could come up with, is it? It astounds me that you survived the journey, and you're lucky that Ba Moon didn't finish you off when you arrived. All right, all right. Honestly, the way you're going off on me, it's like you wish you'd been there to lend him a hand. Does it mean nothing to you that I'm your colleague and former classmate? <sighs> I've got nothing more to say. What's the point of berating an old bag of bones? What do you mean, bag of bones? I'm a flesh-and-blood hero who, despite his old age, saved our General Mahamatra from being stripped of his powers. Okay, look. Fine, I admit it, I was in the wrong. How can I make it up to you? What about, uh, a month's work at the Academia? <laughs> One month? Try three. Hainari's master is really laying into Cyrus. Give them a wide berth. <sighs> Professor bought this on himself. Don't pay any attention to him. Uh, wow, I haven't seen Master get this riled up in a long time. The last time he chewed someone out like this must have been back when I was still a student. I think I'll go around and update everyone, tell them the situation's resolved. Want to come with me? We can go for dinner afterwards. My treat. You in? Makes sense. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs>